everybody. Uh, welcome. It's Friday. It's great outside, right? So um, we're going to hit, geez, highs again, almost close to 70 degrees today. Um, it's going to happen again tomorrow on Saturday. So uh, the weather's going to be absolutely great. Obviously, it's an asynchronous day. Um, so, you know, whenever you possibly can do this, um, you know, kind of whenever the time allows you to, okay, your schedule allows you to. Uh, what we're asking you to do today is just one round, and there's seven things involved, so we're just going to kind of go one right after the other. Um, and again, it's all going to be uh, outside, at a whole base, uh, but all these, these things that aren't necessarily on our feet, running or walking, is going to be, um, it can be done outside, it can be done on a driveway, sidewalk, front yard, whatever. Um, but first thing we want to do is we want to kind of get warmed up, and what, what we're going to do out of these seven things is, is three out of the seven, um, one in the beginning, one in the middle, and one in the end, is going to be a four-minute um, you know, walk or, or run-walk. So I'll kind of start from the top and explain from there. Uh, first thing we're going to do, again, for our warm-up, uh, is just going to be a four-minute walk. Okay, so this is just, again, maybe you've been um, you know, sitting uh, in, you know, in front of the computer screen, you know, doing, doing periods one through five, um, we just want to kind of get the body flowing a little bit, get on our feet, um, and, and just kind of just kind of get the blood flow a little bit. Okay, so we're going to go for a four-minute walk. So if you're at your home base, that would be where you would walk uh, somewhere, uh, you know, for two minutes and then simply walk back. So having a watch or a cell phone nearby uh, with a with a timer uh, is ideal. When you get back from your four-minute walk, uh, the first thing we want to do two things: just very basic movements, just push-ups and sit-ups. And we'll ask you to do push-ups for two sets of 10. Okay, so just 20 push-ups total. And then we're going to ask you to do two sets of 20 on sit-ups or 40 sit-ups total. So we're going to do something for our upper body, and then we're going to do something for our core. Okay? And after our push-ups and sit-ups, then we're going to go back out for a four-minute. Uh, this could be a walk or run. Okay? I would suggest maybe just a little bit of both. Uh, if you feel like you're in good cardio shape and you're ready to roll, I would just run the entire four minutes. Uh, if you don't feel, if you're not into running and things like that, if you're not feeling like you're in great cardio shape, that's fine too. Uh, continue on with a, with a walk, a four-minute walk. Uh, if you're kind of in the middle, I would maybe walk for a minute, run for three minutes. Okay, so that's just kind of up to each individual as far as, um, you know, what we're doing for those four minutes. But again, we're outside, uh, we're going away from our home base, and we're coming back to our home base. When we come back to our home base, we're going to do uh, two exercises called rows and supermans. Okay. Um, up here, we, we did push-ups in which we pushed something away from our body. And on our rows, now we're going to pull something towards our body. And it's called rows because it's like, you know, you're rowing a boat. Okay? And so for this, on our rows, we're going to do two sets of ten, so 20 total, just like push-ups. Um, but we're going to need a household item or household product in which we pull it towards our body. So I got something here with a handle. Um, you know, this isn't very too heavy, um, but this is something I can do one arm at a time in which I'm simply rowing up, so I'm pulling something towards my body. If I've got a big, bigger object, like this big bag here, this could be a, a, a two hands um, on something, like a bigger object, in which, again, I'm just, I'm now I'm trying to pull something towards my body and thus work my, my upper back muscles. So I've worked my upper uh, chest muscles on the push-ups. Now I need to do the exact opposite uh, on the rows. Next up is going to be a Superman. Superman is basically the exact opposite of a sit-up. So in our sit-up, we're on the front side of our body, working our abdominals. On the supermans, we're going to do two sets of 20 seconds, not 20 reps. So we're going to hold a superman for 20 seconds in a row. And that is going to be working, instead of the front part of our core, it's going to be working the back part of our core. So it's going to work lower back uh, and into our glutes. And a superman is simply going to run our stomach uh, on the ground. And we can keep our hips on the ground, but we bring our arms up, our chest up, our chest is off the ground. Uh, I bring my legs up, uh, my feet are off the ground, in fact, my knees are off the ground, uh, and I try to make it so the only thing that's on the ground is my hips, and I hold that position, that superman position, for 20 seconds. So I'm going to do two sets of 20 on that, and then after that, those two exercises of rows and supermans, then I'm back outside for four more minutes, okay? And this is the last and final thing. So now we've obviously, we've, we've warmed up, we're ready to go uh, with all of these things here. Now we want to try a four-minute run, okay? Uh, if you're not in a run or if you don't feel like, you know, you're up to, to you can sustain that for four minutes, that's fine. Uh, you can walk that too, but, but I would suggest you go out and if you can, run that four minutes, run two minutes away from your house, 
and then run two minutes back uh, to your house. Uh, and that would be basically around a total of a, of a 30 minute workout, maybe a little bit less. Uh, but by the time you watch this video, by the time you get things set up, you're looking at about still about 30 minutes or 30 to 40 minutes total uh, when it comes to spending on PE time. So um, there are other options out there. There's dance class, there's yoga class, there's personal workouts too. So uh, just make sure you submit that with you logged in uh, at the end of the day today. Uh, get credit for it. If you have any credits or excuse me, questions about uh, anything when it comes to weekly logs, grades, term three, semester two, what have you, uh, let me know. Show up to Google Meets next week.